Hey YouTube, it's I'm the Black Cat, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Alright. What are we doing here? Okay. Um, we don't really have anyone put away for stress relief at all. I have uh, two people in the sanitarium, which is this Hellion and this uh, Abomination, who both have some diseases getting removed. I went through all of this at the end of the last episode, but if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to quickly go over it. Apart from that, I just um, selected my new group, which is a Houndmaster, Antiquarian, Plague Doctor, and a Leper, and I gave them all um, the maximum level of, what should we call it, um, uh, armor and armor and weapons. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, that they can get at the moment, and I upgraded a few of their skills in preparation for the next mission. So I've not got a lot of money still. And I decided that I was going to the world. The world. Whichever. And I was going to do the medium mission here. Because it's been a while since I've done a medium mission. I'm getting a uh, abomination only thing. Which is good. I'm getting deeds. Which is something that I really need. I shouldn't have spent them the last episode. But I did. Uh, just to bring down the the cost for um, upgrading the uh, weapons and armor. So I need more deeds so that I can get an extra slot in my roster by upgrading the stagecoach. I also need the gold and uh, what else is here? That's just a short mission so I want to avoid that. I don't want a short mission just at the moment. And this one's goal is to gather three medicines which is going to take up some space which will hurt the uh, opportunity of getting uh, Ooh, no, I'm just looking here now. I think I'm actually going to change my mind. I think I'm actually going to go to the cove instead. I'm still going to take these guys, but I'm going to go to the cove. Um, mostly because this one needs me to gather three medicines. And that's going to take up three slots in my inventory, which means that I'm not going to be able to get as much loot out of the thing and taking the antiquarian she also takes up a few slots for loot she's really good at getting loot so I don't think that's the way to go I think I have to go to the cove <coughs> so yeah uh, I've already put out the what little trinkets I wanted to take pretty much just the, the book there and the plague doctor getting a couple all right so we've got firewood we need three shovels. We need probably two stacks of torches. Okay, not quite. I won't ha quite take two stacks of torches. I'll take food to f two full stacks of food, though. Uh, another anti-venom. Oh. I really want a key. I have to sell a trinket, I think. Uh, one that's a bit rubbishy. That's not particularly good, that trinket, so that doesn't particularly bother me selling that. Buy two keys. Buy two herbs. Actually, three herbs, I think. Take one more anti-venom and one more torch. Why not? Use all of my money. I can always go on a short mission again. Maybe sell another trinket for that. Okay. Salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Oh, that's nice and long. Or oh, sort of. Room battle with treasure. Cool. Couple of curios as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Got to click on a room here. <laughs> that would help things. Now, I use the antiquarian for all of these things because she gets more stuff out of it. Finding the stuff of these antiques. The first test. Extra shovel now is really nice. Home. Busts. All right. Okay, probably the Houndmaster is going to be the best at trap disarm. Yeah, 70%. Alright. Keep the, the torch light up. We're in battle now. <coughs> okay, I need to get rid of that shaman first. So, a plague grenade? I think I get the plague in first. Got blight on both of them. That's awesome. 
What do you got currently? Four damage for three rounds. Six damage for three rounds. Nice. Uh, use a blackjack on... Or a hound's rush. Could get bleed on them. That should kill you, pretty much. Six, seven. And you've only got four. You're dead. You're fully dead. Do four to seven. Six to eleven. Chop. Possibly kill you, actually. It does. Nice. Okay. Only got these guardians left. And one's guarding the other one. Guarded by. Up to ceases. Oh, ah, bleed. Not, not, not good. But I should be able to get some more blight going on you, perhaps. Actually, put a little bit on you for now. Finding gas, maybe. Should find you. Stunned. Nice. Get the chop in there. Miss. Unfortunate. <coughs> Could heal yourself, but I think you're better off. Stunning? Yes. Nice stun. Okay, you're both off a stun now. You've got four damage for one round. You have two damage for two rounds. Okay. Get some more Festric Vapors there. Six damage for three rounds. You should actually probably die from that. Um, so I'll get some bleed going here, I think. Resisted it, unfortunately. I'm not going to get the Blight in. So you may as well heal yourself. Hug the doggy. Yeah. That's the spirit. Dr. Cestus, no bleed, good. You're going to have two damage for two rounds, you've got two damage for one round. Um, chop. You're very nearly dead, you've got two health, and you're dead from your next round. So, Festering Vapors, on you. Ah, uh, keep on blocking it. Cure the bleed there, and get a bit of healing. Good. Okay, that guy's dead. Get the chop in. Nine health. Gets one more Octocy Octocystis in. Resisted this time, which is good. May as well stun you. Good. Ooh. Get some healing in. Get some more healing in. <laughs> some very good healing in. Purge, perhaps. Clears the corpse here. Okay, you're back out of it. So, get an incision in there. Should stack a little bit of bleed. No, it's only got one health. Hounds Rush. Gonna do the last of the damage to it. Ooh, health stone. Less speed. Come on, Antiquarian. Hidden compartment. Measure. I've got quite a lot of stuff here. Oh, a ruby there. Very nice. Um, plus 10% health, but less speed. Who can lose the speed? You've only got 5 speed. You've got 7 speed, which is really good. You've got 6. You've been attacked a little bit there, so you may as well take that stone for now. Give you a little bit more health. Ooh, more scouting. Good. 
nice curio up here. Torch. Sweet. Burn In that straight away. May we find victory. Ooh, more scouting. Ah, uh, room battle. There's a secret room. It's the first time I've come across a secret room, I think. Oh, got to try and make a bit of barnacle. I think use a shovel on the barnacle chest. Yeah. A fortune waiting to be spent. Oh. Use medical herbs on that. What's that? Who's got the most dodge? Uh, you've got 15. I got you can take it straight away. Um, what do we take here, or what do we drop? I don't really know. I think maybe we just use that. Torch up and battle. Thralls. Need to get rid of both of those quickly. Four damage, good. Twelve. Oh, even better. Focus damage on the one at the front now. Ooh, yeah. Shoe should kill both of them, and it does. That's beautiful. <coughs> Shocker. Uh, only one, and resist, but a stun. All right. That's not too bad. Six damage, good. Ooh, miss, good. Okay. Blackjack. Does a bit of damage, but he resisted it. Okay, the chop should kill him. Be gone, fiend. Oh, it's valuable. I need to drop stuff now. But what do I drop? 500. I think I dropped the anti venom. This is going to be a real challenge as to what I collect and don't. Oh, I need to kill the madman, I think, first. Get some festering vapors there. Oh, two damage, nice. Uh, you get. I think we use binding gas first. Bind them both. Yes, yeah, done. Nice. Get the hands. Just blackjack the first guy. Get a stun in there. Good. So he's the only one that can actually do anything. So do I chop him? Yeah, I might kill him. I do kill him. That was a fantastic first turn. Oh, you got another shot in. So did you. It's going to be a bit of stress. Not too much, though. Put a Hound's Rush up. Ooh, the bleed there. Uh, get the Festering Vapors going on you. Get the Blight started. And then we Blight both of these guys here. And that should kill the Spearman. Definitely going to kill the Spearman. Seven, he's got six. So we need a bit more damage up there, so... We start attacking this uh, Guardian at the front. We got ten health, good. Hounds Rush. Should just about take care of everything. Although I will do one more hit on him. He's, he's dying. They're both dying. Now it's just you. Unforeseen. So we get the incision going. Bring you right down, and I think you're dead as well. Especially with this. Sweet. Oh, I'm getting so much stuff. Eat all the food. I'm getting so much food. Uh, bleed. 
Do you need that? You're getting blade skill. I have to move back and then move up. Uh, ooh, I have to wait until I get up to there to use my campfire. As the light gains purchase, spirit. Okay, there's just a trap up here. And purpose is made it's a room battle with treasure. So much treasure on this map. So much. I need the deeds. I have to drop. I have to drop something. The emerald, maybe. Or, no, the two jades. Sweet, got a bit of stress relief for that. Okay, another room battle. Mm, need to get rid of the shaman first. Uh, so, we bind them first. Done, good. Uh, oh, good dodge. Get the festering vapors started on the shaman. Need that blight to start kicking in. Okay, six to eleven. Nine to eight. I could kill him. Does the minimum though. Unfortunate. I think we blackjack the Guardian. Yeah, stun him. Good. Basically skipped his turn then. Without losing too much, he would have only maybe put some bleed on one of them. Or more. One or more. Get some more blight going. Am I going to be able to blackjack? I think I have to try to get some bleed. Yeah. Play grenade two. Get some more blight going. Ooh, get a ton of blight going now. Ooh. Yeah, he's protected now. Assist us. No bleed, please. Good. Shop. I think we have to put a chop on you. Just to start making a dent in you. Ooh, not the stress. Okay, not too much. Put some bleed. Or just kill you. Good. Good. Get some more blight. You're pretty much dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're definitely dead on your next turn lead there, unfortunate, but give the hands rush on you, crit, and bleed, good. Chop you up. Oh, he's dead. He's dead too, and he's dead, they're all dead. Get some heal going. Some even more heal going. Heal up. Get some protection, why not? Sweet. <sighs> Ran out of space for the money. Get rid of the emerald for the money. Keep one key. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. What do I get rid of? I think I get rid of a stack of torches. Another mariner, another miss. Good. Eat some food. Good. Uh, I don't go to the secret room just yet.
We're in battle, so we have to go to this way first. Disarmed. Thank you. Ooh. Luckily, I kept the rubies. Um, luckily, there's more stuff to get. What's that doing? Debuff resist. Why not? You can have that. Oh, I have to leave the rest there. Okay. Another room battle. Okay, need to kill that thrall first. It's done. It's awful. No stun, please. Good. I think we just get the damage going on the thrall. He needs nine more. Five to eight. I think maybe we stun the guardian. Good. Ah. That's a lot of damage. Could kill you though, Destroyed. yeah. Well and truly. Salty go gouge, no bleed. Ah, got the bleed on me. Should be able to deal with that a little later on the battle though. We'll use the plague doctor to get rid of that. Some festering vapors going on you. You actually take some fairly decent damage from them. Hands rush, 3 to 5, 5 to 8, 5 to 8. Should do, yeah, half damage. And got some bleed going too, yeah. That'll kill you. He dodged it. Terrible. Hugh will kill him. And put a little bit of damage on the uh, Guardian. Dr. Cestus. Resisted, good. Get bleed. No. Only two damage. He's got ten health. Ah. Good. Resisted the stun. That should bring him down to half health. Yep. That should kill him. Dodge. He's terrible. Probably have to use these dog treats soon. I'll just chop you and kill you. Uh, you need to heal him. Crit, good. Ooh, shocker. Nice dodge. And kill. Crush, kill, destroy. Still can't stack those. Ah, uh, unfortunately. I have to do, like, two more battles. Or at least one more battle. Then use my campfire. Got the disarm in there, good. Salvage the torch, yep. And this room is empty. Come on, one more battle. Okay, here's the battle. Seaward Slash. Not great. Uh, we need some Festering Vapors. On you at the second position. Yeah. Buff the dog and attack second. Nine. He's dead. Bind you. Ooh. 
You need some healing. 6 to 11 and it will kill him. 9 to 18 could kill him. Straight up, yeah. Put some healing up. Yeah. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. He's dead and he's in second now. Good. You can heal yourself though. Get the stab in there. Uh, yeah, heal yourself. Chop and kill. Yeah. What do we get? A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I think I have to leave the portrait there. Nothing in there, was there? Oh no, scouting. Okay. After this one, I can't fly. Ooh, what do we do here? Take out the shaman. Binding gas. Double stun, good. Stack onto the shaman first. You need to get some damage on him. Kill him. Even better. Get the stun on you. And we get another turn. Good. Get double blight up here on the next turn. Festering vapor there as well. Then double blight from the plague grenade. He's dead on his next turn. So I think we need to focus on you now. Ooh, crit for eight. We've got some bleed too. <laughs> yeah, you can guard him all you like. I'm going to attack you anyway. Six damage. He's dead. Good. Get an incision there. He's dead. He's dead and dead and dead and dead. Mm, heal. Rather than waste the attack. You withstand. Ah, we should not attack him. Never stab. Incision. And should kill you with a chop, yeah. This expedition at least promises success. Can't really take anything else out of that. Continue adventuring, of course. Get rid of that. Use the campfire, because I can. A moment of respite. Eat as much food as I can. The uh, look for a trinket. Um, less stress on someone. Remove a disease. Anybody got a disease? I don't think so. I think the only ones with diseases are back at base. Yeah, no disease here. Heal. Stress relief. Wound care. <laughs> Wound care. So you may as well. Pep talk. Therapy dog and scrounge for a trinket. 
Yeah, why don't you just use that? And rest. The light, the promise of safety. Evil debuff. Huh? How do you debuff? It's two room battles. Two, three, four curios. Okay. I think we do this. Use up the shovels. <sighs> and battle. Good. Probably could have kept the uh, dog treat, but... Play grenade, incision. I miss. That's no good. We kill one of them. Yeah. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And stun you. Maybe. Yeah, get you halfway down. Okay. No stun, please. Good. Kill. One more. Spear fishing. Okay. He's near dead. This should kill him. And it does. Good. These nightmarish creatures can be found. Um, they can be beaten. Take the gold. That will stack. A lot better. A blazing star is born. Two curios and a battle. Okay. Uh, Emerald, I don't care about that. I should have been doing that with the Antiquarian. I am an idiot. Nothing in there and a battle. Festering vapors on the spear fisher. Incision on the thrall. We've got the bleed there too, good. Very nearly done with this mission, which is good. Chop and maybe kill. Definitely kill. Hounds rush. Five to eight. Mm -mm -mm. Blackjack on. Blackjack on the stunner, I think. He doesn't do as much damage, but I don't want to get stunned. Nervous stab. Miss! Damn, your accuracy must be down. It's only 90. Ah. Seven and some bleed. You're dead. You're fully done. So are you. We win. Uh, I need to get some healing in, maybe. Ooh, crit for ten that I didn't use. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh. Might skill chance. Grave rubber stun. What do I start dropping for this? I think I'd get rid of those. For the grave rubber one. You eat that for stun amulet. Drop the shovel for that one. Then we check the room. I don't think there'll be anything in here. Nope. Then we just walk back to the secret room. Then I have everything else that I can just drop as I need to. Wish they could speed this up a bit. 
especially if it's a cleared corridor. Have some sort of run mode engaged. That'd be nice and useful. I do have one key, one key still. I think I only need one. I'm hoping. I don't think you need one to get into the room, but I think you need one for the chest that's in there to get anything good. Which reminds me I should be using my antiquarian. Damn. And we use a key. Okay, what do we get? Oh, money, money, money. And antiques. Get rid of that. Get those. And what do I drop here? The food, I think. Get you to eat. Oh, you're full. Um, do I drop anything else? No, I don't. I just drop the food. And in mission. That was a really good mission. Oh, plenty of money. I've got spending cash now. 21. Plus four and a half. So just a bit over 25 and a half grand. Got six deeds, which I was looking for as well. And some busts and some crests, but they don't matter quite so much. And apart from that, Man at Arms eye patch. Clumsy, not good. A world adventurer, pretty good. Return to town, all right. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Well, I'm gonna leave this one here, guys. Thanks for watching, I've been the Black Cat, and this has been Darkest Dungeon. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if that's what you're into. Until next time, see you later.